Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, today's video uh, is going to be about the interface, the new interface. Specifically, we're going to talk about what is new and what is, you know, basically gone. Like the implant system and a few other things. You know, those changes that have been made to the game. Like without you knowing what's happening. And also, from what I gather, the patch notes uh, that they have for KR server is right here present in our current patch as well. So that's not announced, unfortunately. And I feel like Zalong Games need to do a better work of announcing that to us because uh, it's something that, you know, the players have to find out. So one particular thing that I can tell you is basically on, for example, New Detroit. The buff on New Detroit is here. Now let me check the previous one and then we can do a quick comparison, right? So you can have a look at this one right here. So before this, the Ally Striker was 15% and Attack Speed was 10%. So now they have increased it to 20% and 15%. So both have been increased by 5%. So that is quite a huge buff. And also, uh, you know, a few other things. I've I've covered all the buffs before, including the damage resistance from Awaken Yomina. And then Xiaolin, I believe, has been buffed slightly as well. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, before this, there's an extra requirement that says that this skill does not penetrate in Gauntlet or something like that. So now it works. It works in Gauntlet. So those are like hidden buffs. So if you guys want to check out the full video, I've already done that in the past. Basically, those buffs were applied to the KR server first. I'll link it right here and in the description below so you guys can check it out. Like what are the applied buffs that has come to C server. Uh, I'm just gonna list it down here for you guys. Asterosa slight buff, Lee Su Yeon, Awaken Yomina buff, Jen Do, Xiaolin right here, Chinatsu, very huge buff for Chinatsu, so make sure you guys check that out. Tommy the Die Hard and New Detroit. Alright, let's talk about implant. So if you guys are not aware right now, there's no more implant system. Alright, there's no way for you to implant your characters. So what do you do with your characters? Now before you happily go, oh I can delete every single end character, I just want to give you guys a warning. To obtain end characters now is very hard. Alright, there's no real way to obtain end characters from pools anymore. So if you look at right here, like I know a lot of you guys don't really want to build end characters, which I do understand. But just to let you guys know, if you guys are a collector, that is much harder, rarer to obtain them. One thing that I do get asked about, what about these trophies? What do you do with them? So now you can sell them and they do give quite a huge chunk of gold, as you can see 20,000. Alright, previously they don't give much value, but now you can actually use them just as trophies and you can sell them. So it's much simpler now in terms of you don't have to implant your character. So your characters, you just level them up. Fusion Core, 110, easy, done. There's no more implant system. So basically you're getting them at max stats. So those characters that you have implanted before, they will be at max stats. So those characters that you have implanted halfway, you didn't implant all the way here, don't worry, they will also be at max stats. So implant is no more. There's no way for you to implant your characters anymore. So everything will be done here in HQ as you can see, right? Now this interface, a little bit tricky. I don't like it as much. Still trying to adjust to it. There's a few things that I like about it. There's a few things that I don't like about it. So we're going to talk about it. As you can see, there's this Terra brain thing that's still locked for us. You can see right now, CEO office. Alright, so we have scout lifetime contract and then hangar is right here for the ship stuff. Workshop is right here. If you want to build certain things, you just have to click on this. Alright, I'll just click craft at the bottom. So that will bring you to the craft menu, right? Now there's also one new banner specifically for you to obtain end characters. So if you guys are not aware, these are the... Okay, by the way, there's this new banner right here. And I believe whenever you start the game, they force you to come here, do the tutorial, and spend 1,000 of your quartz. Actually, that 1,000, it doesn't belong to you. They give you 1k quartz so that you can use it. How do I know that? Because I didn't click on it. So you can actually, they force you to click on this, right? They highlight it on you, but you can actually Alt F4 on PC, of course, and you can also uh, just exit on mobile as well. And then if you restart the game, you get extra 1000 quads on your inventory. So that's what I did. All right, let's talk about the banners right now. Slight changes to all the banners. Like these are the regular banners that we have. As you can see, you can no longer obtain N characters. You can obtain R characters, SR, SSR, right? So same goes for this banner right here. Every single banner out there, you know, you can no longer obtain and characters. So that makes them extremely rare. So how do you obtain them? Number one, there's this new banner right here, which you can use this partner's business card. All right, you can use this to obtain them. It's specifically present in this banner. This banner has a very low chance of getting SR, 1% chance of getting SR, 19% chance of getting R, 
and 80% chance of getting M. There's no SSR right here. So this is one of the few methods. And in case you guys are wondering, oh, um, I don't think this is worth it because I think it's better to buy the boxes that you can open to get the stick, right? But now even the stick is no longer there, they remove it entirely. So if you have the stick in your account, I think it's pretty valuable. Before this, you can actually go here, we go shop, go to shop list, exchange center, business card. You can actually use that right here. But now you can't use that anymore, as you can see, all right? It's, that feature has been removed. So the only way to use the partner's business card is right there in that specific banner. Right here, as you can see, they have added a few other extra things, such as the APT course. We have counter, mech, and soldiers, which is good, all right? This is extremely awesome. I appreciate this. Unlimited as well. This is not limited to like 10 times weekly, 20 times weekly. You can buy as many as you can. So even the infos. So if you need a bunch of infos, this is the best place to get it for sure. I feel like now you don't really have to farm infos anymore because now that you can buy this, this is really good actually. So you can get 1000 info for just like 100 business card. It's actually really, really cheap. A bunch of these things can be purchased right here and even the enhancement module if you're trying to get a bunch of your gears to plus 10. So plenty of flexibility right here and none of these are limited to like weekly, monthly ETC. Right here in the HQ, as you can see in the dormitory, this is like the only way, as far as I can see, to obtain them in the lobby, you can actually interact right here. So you can see, you can send business cards to your friends and your friends can send business cards to you. So let me accept that. That will give me 60. All right, so the dorm, basically that's the only function. Now in the dormitory itself, you can see there's plenty of things that you can do. You can decide which characters to put. You do get loyalty plus one in 288 hours. Every 288 hours, it seems to give you plus one loyalty. So that takes very long. So I would advise, you know, if you're deciding who to place, put your character that doesn't have max loyalty. All right, so that way they get to farm loyalty for free. But in case you guys are wondering, oh, what if you decorate your warehouse, all right? All this expensive carpet and stuff, do you get to increase the loyalty gauge? Does it increase faster? No, it doesn't affect anything. So if you are buying any of these with your quartz, just keep in mind that it's fully for decorative purposes. Decoration only, all right? It doesn't give any functionality as of now. One more thing that irks me is this particular one, it says zero quartz, but you can't unlock this. To be able to unlock this, you have to unlock this section, the dorm building B, for 2,000 quarts, all right? That's, that's a lot. So yeah, in terms of the character customization or upgrading, where there's the part where you can choose characters to limit break, stuff like that, you have to come to here, to the management, all right? You have to click on a specific character right here, and then click on either limit break or skill training. Then you can navigate between the characters that you haven't limit break, or you still have the option to, or the characters that you have the skill you're not still let, yet to level up ETC. So the option is still here, but it's just that you can't navigate from the main menu itself. So you have to go to a specific character and click from there in case you guys are not aware. So basically everything is still there. It's just that they remove implants. So that can be confusing for some players. Uh, what do you do with, you know, your end characters right now? I guess if you don't care about them, you can actually sell them. But for me, I will still try to build some of them in case they are needed in the future PvE or any other special contents whatsoever reason. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of everything. Uh, implants being removed, all the new units being buffed. I wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, if you haven't already subscribed, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <music>